Alright, so in this video we're going to be looking at the Lords of Battle fencing jacket. Kind of a short jacket. This is a size medium. Uh, you guys saw a preview of this in the uh, video I just put up for the 2017 updates. If you have not seen that video, go ahead and click the link below or it's probably in the related videos to your right. So this one is a medium. You can see right here, it's got buttons. Kind of comes out pretty easily. Comes off pretty easily. So you got the button, the uh, button holes right here. These are sewn on. Kind of hard to see when it's black, but these are sewn on and it folds over very nicely. If you were just wearing it without the buttons, just with the Velcro, you'll see it's double Velcro on the inside on the throat protector. Uh, I wouldn't suggest doing that because it'll it'll open. So when you button it, try to do this quickly so you're not just watching me button the jacket up. But it's actually really comfortable. Uh, this is my first fencing jacket I've ever had. In Kali, we don't really wear a lot of protective gear when we spar. Truthfully, we wear like hockey gloves and uh, we're doing full contact. Uh, we'll use like the Absolute Force fencing masks, like the three weapons ones. So that's really what I'm more familiar with, truthfully. Um, so this is just a new, something new to get used to. But it's actually really comfortable. Range of motion is great. And we'll notice this distinct difference with this in comparison to a gambeson is that it's not covering my hips and it's not covering the tops of my legs down to my knees. So I'll adjust the camera so you can see. So right at the waist, there's the back of the jacket. It tapers forward right before where it would protect the groin. If I lift my arms, there is some raise to it. So my arms are on the back of my head right now. So really this is, truthfully, this is more for like fencing where you're not going to be having your back to someone. To your opponent where you would more be more out front uh, if you're gonna do this more for Hema you might want like a gambeson that goes all the way down I personally want more of a fencing jacket to try out the range of motion so if you want something a little bit more lightweight you may want to go with this Lords of Battle fencing jacket uh, I will say though uh, adjust the camera so you can see it it's not very long uh, some gambesons will go like to mid thigh and we're going to see that in a second with the Brigadine armor I'm going to bring out. But uh, this, is a, this is not covering the thigh or the hip, really. Uh, you'll notice that, you know, when you see people move back in sparring, if they wave out, you'll notice that my hips and my groin are not protected. Uh, you should be protecting yourself with footwork, but, you know, sometimes you slip up. Sometimes the gear is there for the insurance policy of safety and training, uh, which I respect. I get that. So, you know, it's... When you're all the way up here, you'll see that there's not really any protection. So it's really for like light to moderate thrust if you're only wearing the jacket like this. The elbows, you'll see there's a little bit of material here to add extra elbow protection. A little bit of a flap so you can slide any extra bracers in that you need it. But I will say, since I'm not fighting with other protective gear like that, even just this by itself, it doesn't feel ridiculous. Um, when I was first trying on gambesons and fencing jackets, uh, I guess I was going a little bit too big of a size because it felt like a giant, giant snuggie basically on me. But um, this one was really nice. I like it a lot. Range of motion, like I said, is great. The uh, buttons are secure and tight. You can still move with it. But you'll see that when it comes up, there's no protection for the hips. So just be careful of that. 
Uh, if you are doing more of historical European martial arts where you're using a lot of footwork, there's a lot of redirection, maybe you're using the long sword, you may want to get something a little bit longer to protect the legs. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but um, I'll have more on this as well um, as I'm doing more of the open sparring over at the Forteza Academy of Martial Arts over in Chicago. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the Brigadine Armor. If you're not familiar with Brigadine Armor, it is a padded coat that has actual steel plates on it. So I'm actually going to change out into that right now, and then I'll show you what it looks like with the Gambeson and the Brigadine Armor over it. All right, so before I put it on, what is Brigadine Armor? If you don't know what it is, um, from the research that I've done on it, Brigadine Armor, it's a leather or cloth coat. This one is 100% cotton. And you'll see the rivets all over it. That's because underneath here are metal plates. Now I will say, get a close up on this. So they're full plates. The plates are actually somewhat flexible just a little bit that way when you are wearing it and you'll see that when I put it on it actually forms to the front of your chest and your stomach and the and the ribs over here and this is to take some impact on you know from thrusting and also if you were to get cut on the chest um, which is why I'm going to be wearing the canvas underneath it for uh, further protection Okay, so here's what it looks like on before you put the straps on. This is the small, small medium. So you got three straps going down the side. I'm going to pull this up so you can see it. One, two, three. Then you have one underneath the arm to strap it down. I'm going to show this as well with the straps up. You'll see it's got quite a, quite a bit of protection in comparison to the gambus I just showed. This is right at, if I'm standing with my knees a little bit bent, it's just touching the top of my kneecap. So contrary to what I said before with the gambus in where it stops right at the waist before the hips, this is covering you all the way down. So if you're having someone drifting shots low to the knee or to the midline and you know, you're gonna get clipped a little bit. It's really just so surface cuts don't really take you out of out of fighting, really. So no restriction at all. I mean, I feel it a little bit of a pull on the neck, but I'm not like, you know, getting strangled to death or anything on that. Full range of motion. Arms are up overhead. You can see all that. So uh, not nearly as heavy as chainmail. This is about, like I said, eight pounds, 11, 11 ounces, just about. The plates are actually, because they're 18 gauge, the plates are actually flexible. So when you get this, they're just straight down because it's obviously just folded up when we pack it. But the plates are actually flexible. So when you, when you hold it, when you press down, you can actually form this to your body instead of just having like a straight plate across. Same for all these on the back, all the way down to the uh, backs of the legs from the hamstrings. The only thing that's not plated is the shoulders. So this is just like a, like a fencing jacket, like a thin, thin fencing jacket around the shoulder. I think that's just to keep mobility. So then when you're, when you're actually striking, you don't have to worry about getting stuck or when you're coming back getting stuck. So what I'm going to do now is, since you've seen the Brigadine separately and the fencing jacket separately, I'm going to go ahead and put the fencing jacket on first and then the Brigadine over it. Alright, so just put it on. The uh, fencing jacket is underneath this, and just for the sake of saving time and uh, to give you an idea of how long the leather straps are. I only buckled one. I just buckled the middle part of this. Alright, so you'll obviously see now my arms are actually as a minor amount of protection, a small amount of protection. I mean, you still have enough room, like I said, in the fencing jacket to add. As you can see, you can add elbow protection. You can add forearm guards. But the range of motion is still really good. And obviously, I know the back of this is open. 
I'm just showing that so you can see range of motion, the weight, there's the back of it, and it's warm. It's very, very warm. So when you start moving around the friction of the jacket against your clothing, uh, you may want to get something like a, uh, a long sleeve shirt, like a dry fit one, this is sort of being like more moisture wickening so you're not just like dying underneath your jacket and your brigadine. So here's what it looks like. Check it out. This is a small medium with the small medium fencing jacket underneath. Um, if you had a sword in your hand, let's choose this one. Arms and armor, training rapier. So as you can see, still have full range of motion, but you just feel you just feel the uh, the weight a little bit on your shoulders. If you were running. I don't see it really being I don't see it really being a big problem to be moving around in it. One thing I think I would have to get used to would be having this toward my kneecaps. Kind of feels like I have a blanket on me, but a very protective blanket. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. We got the brigadine and the fencing jacket. Alright, so if you like this video of the brigadine and the fencing jacket from Lords of Battle, available at cultofathena.com. Please go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, just a little bit getting used to as far as armor, but it's gonna be an interesting experiment. Uh, in the coming weeks, I'm gonna do another review on the Lords of Battle fencing jacket I have on right now. That way, you know, after sparring in it, I can tell you, you know, how warm it is. You know, further range of motion when you're striking with it, when you're moving, and also what everybody wants to know about protective gear is, how protective is it? You know, do you need extra armor? Do you need extra bracers and things like that? So that'll be coming in the next few few weeks, few months, uh, just more as we progress in protective gear. All right, talk to you guys soon.